Now, the lounge was a gay bar and the city council formally apologized for its response to the attack. Lily Cummings was at the council meeting today for the emotional moment. It's been 49 years since a man set fire to the upstairs lounge, an important part of the LGBT community in 1970s New Orleans. Fire broke out in the second floor bar last night, killing 29 people and injuring 15. The death toll would climb to 32. Those who escaped reported smelling gasoline before the room was engulfed with flames. You can still find the building today in the French Quarter, but what hasn't been seen is justice. While the New Orleans City Council admits their apology is late, they hope it's a step forward. In a city that prides itself upon being this haven of acceptance in a state of hate, we have to acknowledge that we were also a place of hate. The only suspect was never arrested. Witnesses say he had been kicked out of the bar. It was the aftermath and failure to investigate that was later scrutinized. Councilmember J.P. Morell says his office will now work with the council to remove some of the victims from a mass grave and give them a proper memorial. In an unmarked grave in this city? It's really... I seldom say I'm rendered speechless, but it renders me speechless. Other council members were moved to tears after hearing from activists and witness who saw the tragedy firsthand. These 32 martyrs need to continue to push us forward in our activism. Council members say representatives from the New Orleans Police Department were there to recognize the role the department played in the investigation, side by side, giving a framed apology to one victim's sister. Her statement was read before the council. The awful things people shouted about how he, they deserve to die haunt us. The investigation was not made a priority. It was botched and the families and friends never saw the arsonist brought to justice. With tears in her eyes and love and longing for her brother in her heart, Rose Little got to see this small act of justice almost half a century later. Lily Cummings, Eyewitness News. And a plaque honoring those killed was installed outside the building on the 30th anniversary of the fire. It lists 29 names and three unidentified white males. One of those men, Larry Frost, was finally identified in 2018. The names of the two other men are still a mystery.